Once you've ensured that you've installed the drivers and the Brother software, you can go ahead and open up the Fluoro Printer application. From here, you'll want to make sure you're under settings so that we can outline the size of our labels. Today, I'm using a 62 millimeter continuous tape. So, I'll be using the Brother DK 22205 template for both the name tag and the parent template. If you have other label sizes, we offer a few other templates with the Fluoro printer application. As you click on them, you'll see that the Fluoro printer application automatically changes the measurements for the labels. You'll see that the width changed along with the height. For this example, I'll go ahead and go back to the 62 millimeter tape. Additionally, I'll want to ensure that portrait orientation is toggled off. If you're having issues with printing using these settings, there are a few other ways and places that we can navigate to, to ensure that the Brother printer is configured correctly. First, you'll go to your applications in your finder. and you'll want to open up the Brother P-Touch Editor. Here, it'll bring up a secondary window asking you to select the template. You'll go ahead and click New, and it'll present you with a preview of what the labels will print as. Under Print Media, you'll see a few options as far as what you can designate the media size to. For this example, I'll go ahead and keep this at 62 millimeters by 29. You can outline your margin here. And once you've completed your configuration, we'll go ahead, click on file and click save. Since I created a new template, I'll go ahead and rename it as well. child check-in template. Go ahead and click save. And go ahead and close out. Now you'll see that the template has been saved to your desktop. If we need to, go ahead and open the Brother P-Touch Editor again. and you'll be able to open it up as well. And there you have it. That's how to configure the Brother QL A10 printer with your Mac device.